We'll know post the scan tomorrow. Uh, we've got a scan book for him for tomorrow now. He looked in a fair bit of discomfort coming off. He's a lot more comfortable now, which is promising, but uh, what's not promising is the degree of discomfort he was in. So um, we'll have an update hopefully later um, once he's had that scan. Uh, Ty Gliss, so um, he, he, he felt a tightening on deceleration um, for, for a tight head prop, he, he probably just moves a little bit more quickly than he should and uh, as a result he, uh, he felt a bit of tightening so we, we will uh, check him out tomorrow, that will give us a better picture but we'd be hopeful that he would still be okay in two weeks time. Uh, Jack just took a, a dunt on the on the shoulder, and so for Jack, um, the, the the shoulder's been checked out. It, it looks okay, and so we'd hope that that will settle over the next uh, over the next week. Uh, Gary's making really good progress. Um, Yo, know, next weekend might be just one weekend too soon, but he's he's not far away, and, and potentially next weekend. But uh, you know, again, it might be the weekend after, and for him to come back off uh, an injury layoff and, and come straight in and play against Wales, um, you know, that, that, that would be a tough call. But it's a call we're, we're happy to make based on Gary's contributions in the last Six Nations and, and other times he's played. He was superb in the summer tour, and he's, he's such an intelligent uh, player that he adds value um, when he does come into the side. So. Uh, th that would be certainly one alternative uh, if Robbie uh, is, is unavailable, which we suspect he, he potentially will be.